Hey everyone, welcome back to the homestead. It's another bright and beautiful sunny day out here and it's time to get to work on fencing. One of the first lessons you learn when you get any manner of livestock is that they are experts at escapes, crushing down fencing, hopping over things, squeezing through gaps, and generally destroying fencing, whether it's chickens, cows, goats, or pigs. For reoccurring tasks like these, having really good effective tools makes all the difference. I've spent so many years just trying to jerry-rig things and force things into place, round hole, square, pegging it. I've always felt such a big relief once I finally get a tool equipped to do the job I'm trying to do and it makes my life so much easier. Which brings me to the topic of today's video. I'm going to be comparing two different kinds of metal fence clip benders. So this is how we attach T-posts to wire fencing, like this. As you can see, these wire clips wrap around the back of the T-post and then around the front again. This one is quite shoddily done. That one is shoddily done because it was done with my nemesis tool, the fence fork. I loathe this tool. It is so difficult and clunky to use. So I've been looking for something better, more efficient, easier to handle, something that I'm not constantly slipping if I get just the angle wrong and bloodying up my knuckles or awkward twisty bends like the one you see there when you come at it from just the tiniest wrong way. I saw on Facebook uh, some commercials for a new fence tool a few months back and I ordered one and this is what I got. What a weird little tool, right? This is the thing that caught my eye. It is called the Clip Bender and it's 20 bucks on Amazon. And I'm really curious based on the videos on how this compares to the fence fork and its ability to get consistent good wraps that are nice and tight without having constant slippage issues and busting up my knuckles. So today I'm going to repair some fencing that we had to take down in order to move a vehicle through right here that connects our kids play yard to the beginning of my very messy and still work in progress garden area. I'm going to do three clips on each post and I'm going to see how long it takes me to do it and how easy it is to do with the fence fork as compared to the clip bender. Then I'll share my results with you guys and give you my review on which one I find more intuitive and effective at this job. And go. Okay, that took a minute and 44 seconds with the fence fork and was quite fumbly, of course, because they all wanted to bend wonky ways. I can never figure out how to use this thing, no matter how many YouTube videos I watch. It's just not a very intuitive instrument. Let's see how the clip bender holds up. I've watched a couple YouTube videos on this as well. Hopefully it's a little easier to work with. Okay, that's a little more what I'm talking about. That was 49 seconds to do three clips with the clip bender. And that's not a huge difference when you think about it just on paper like that. But when you're doing whole huge lines of fencing with four plus clips on each one of the T-posts, that saves an absolutely massive amount of time. And I am so excited to actually have this tool now. I'm really impressed. I didn't even struggle with bending the clips, even though it was the first time I've ever used this tool and I've used the fence fork for years at this point. I always struggle with the fence fork, with it bending awkwardly and not ever sure how to get the tines in there just right so it can bend them both at the same time. It's very difficult to use, but this, first time I've ever used it, wrapped up these tie, wrapped up those wires like it wasn't anything. I'd like to be able to give you guys the pros and cons of both instruments, but frankly, there just really aren't any pros to the fence fork. It's all cons. 
this tool is just simply more effective. I'll give an Amazon link to it in the description box below. I, uh, this is not sponsored content at all. This is just me trying out new tools as a young homesteader, trying to figure out what is the most effective. Time is money and good tools are completely priceless. My husband taught me that years ago and that concept is proven every day out here. If you like this video and you're interested in having me trying out more gadgets and showing you guys what I discover about them as we figure out this whole homesteading thing from the ground up, do please hit the like button. Let me know that's the sort of content you're interested in and make some suggestions if you can, please, down in the comments because I'm still learning so much and we are so incredibly busy that any small, simple tool like this especially that can help us save time and energy is invaluable. So do please, if you know of any, comment down below. We could really use the help. And of course, don't forget to hit the notification bell so that you can be notified the next time that we upload or go live. See you next week.